Uh, joining us today to discuss cybersecurity is Leslie Carhart, a principal threat analyst with Dragos. Welcome, Leslie. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, industrial cybersecurity includes a, a broad range of products and services and that. So why don't we just start by, if you could just explain where Dragos fits into that mold of all the products and services that are there today. So what I really enjoy about our line of products is that we bring our expertise and the, the knowledge and over many, many years of ICS and IT security to our customers. And we do that through a wide range of product offerings from managed security services like incident response and threat intelligence and threat hunting, um, playbooks, and even things like tabletop exercises. You know, um, our research you know, suggests that in co industrial companies are finally starting to recognize uh, that they need cybersecurity, you know, that the threats are there. And, and I'm just curious if you're seeing this uptake in interest or the, your perspective, with you know, Dragos' the, perspective. The unfortunate thing is, I think that they've always been aware that those threats exist, but the money has come in recently, especially due to non-targeted threats, things like ransomware, that are very impactful and they have a quantifiable impact. So um, that's something that security people who are well aware of the risks can bring to their executive leadership and say, this is a real thing that could happen to us. Um, we need to address this. And even if their primary concern is a targeted threat, they can bring these real case studies of people being impacted by things like ransomware to their executives. You know, another thing we see is that uh, companies that do invest in cybersecurity, you know, they struggle to sustain their cybersecurity, not just their posture, cybersecurity posture. I'll use that term rather than hygiene because it's more than that, I think. Uh, you know, how can Dragos help them with this kind of issue? Something that I really treasure as a investigator, and that's what I do professionally, is investigate incidents, um, is going into a new environment and doing something like a threat hunt and um, doing something so simple as plugging in our platform and seeing a map develop of their network and an asset inventory and seeing those hosts populate and being able to tell the customer, this is what's out there in your network. That's really exciting for me because they might have network maps that they've built over time, but those are so hard to maintain, especially in a complex industrial environment. So just being able to tell a customer, this is what's really out there. This is what protocols it's speaking. These are the device types and manufacturers. It's, it's really an enjoyable experience for me. You know, uh, in our workshop yesterday, um, a, a big issue, and I'm, I'm happy to see it, but is ITOT convergence. You can call it convergence. Some people call it integration. But um, how can Dragos help companies with this? So within our platform, we have a, a segment of that platform that's called Playbooks. And Playbooks are tied to individual threat analytics. Um, so if you have a specific threat analytic fire in our platform, it will be associated with a playbook. And the playbook gives an IT or an OT security analyst a basic understanding of what that means, what impact it could have in their environment, and how they should respond. So initial triage, uh, the first few steps they should take to gather the right information and approach the right people about what's occurred. So that helps people both on the IT side who don't have a lot of knowledge about OT systems and the people on the OT side who might not have a lot of knowledge about IT security. And uh, along with that, you know, we see companies are saying that's wonderful, that's wonderful capability but we, we need help to manage it. So from a services perspective, you know, how can, again, how can Dragos help and what is your company doing? So we offer a, a wide range of uh, pretty exciting, for me, uh, services for our customers. Uh, we do everything from threat hunts, where we go out into an environment and see what's going on out there, uh, look at assets, look at potential risks, threats, et cetera. We do incident response services. Um, we do threat intelligence services. And we also do some, we provide some uh, managed security services for our customers as well. So we um, also have been working on some uh, tabletop exercise services for customers, which is really, really fun for me. We're out there simulating um, incidents in a tabletop environment for customers so they can see how their teams would respond, both their security teams and their management teams, their public relation teams. and. It's that drilling things over and over that makes people really good at responding to that worst day in their lives. So if we can prepare people for that, God forbid it ever happens, but we've, we've made them ready, we've made them comfortable with, okay, this is what we do, we know, we know this, we've done this, and so um, I really enjoy providing those tabletop services. Yeah, I can, I can yeah. tell. <laughs> so it's just wonderful. Uh, and it's a wonderful service. Um, 
you know, uh, what about uh, helping companies justify, you know, cybersecurity getting, it, when you do understand it, and I agree with you, a lot of companies do, but now getting justification is still a challenge. So what, what does you do to help them with that, or can you? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, threat intelligence is a big help there, and we do have a wide uh, range of threat intelligence services. We have a great intelligence team who do a lot of research into industrial threats and, you know, IT threats that could impact industrial systems. And kind of knowing what's out there and who else in the industry is being impacted by these threats can help people bring those, those concerns to their leadership and talk about real things that are happening in the real world. And that can really help them have a little bit of leverage in terms of um, preparing for them in the future. Well, thank you very much. It's been a real enjoyable discussion. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Uh, we've been speaking with uh, Leslie Carhart, Principal Threat Analyst with Dragos. Thank you for watching. <laughs>